Good morning, guys. Welcome to Friday. Fri Wait, today is Friday, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Friday. Friday <laughs> don't know what day it is. When you're home all the time, you don't you don't remember I what day it is. I just told you the date. You just told me the date. Yes. Friday, December 9th. Friday, December 9th. But when you have an advent calendar, you know the day. Whereas I don't have an advent calendar, so maybe I checked my phone. Maybe for the next. Date. Maybe next year you can make mom and dad an advent calendar. Or you could just open the dog room calendar. No, we should get an advent calendar. Next year, I'm going to put together an advent calendar for your mom, and she's going to put one together for me. That way we have an advent calendar. I just don't know what it could be, though. It would be interesting, anyways. I go for lottery tickets every day. Scratch ticket every day. Right? That would be a good one. All right, so anyways, uh, yeah, we're starting Friday off right. We're at the drive through at Tim Hortons, and it's a long lineup. Long lineup of cars. We're at the back. <laughs> then we're headed to the tax store to get some shavings and to the another store to get some grain. Yeah, that's pretty much my morning. We already did chores. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for Friday. And we don't know what else we're doing. What else are we doing? I don't know. Nothing? You guys got school. They have school still, so I will have to figure out what else to do. I mean, there's lots to do. It's kind of cold out today. The temperature dropped. It was like warm yesterday, but today it was like, today just, temperature just dropped. It's snowing. It's supposed there. to snow. It's supposed to snow. No, it was snowing because there's snow right there. Yeah, it was snowing like a tiny little bit, but it's supposed to snow today or tomorrow, so. I mean, I don't know. I could, we could get more hay. Got to get more hay anyways in a couple days, so I was debating whether or not to wait, see how the weather is, but I mean, if we're not doing anything today, we can get hay. I want to go look at the lights um, in a couple places. There's a couple areas around us. Well, it's a bit of a drive, but they have these lights and, uh, you know, Christmas lights. They put them up everywhere, right? Yeah. Did you know there's one in... Um, North York and you drive through it and it's supposed to be really good it's supposed to be really no, good you drive up and then there's an elf and she tells you everything and then you drive on and you go uh, I don't know maybe they give you cookies and stuff at certain places and you drive through this whole light magic lights thing I might have to look it up and we have to take a drive there one night this week coming up Mm -hmm. It sounds like fun. Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Gabby is in the bar with me today. and She went right for her blanket. We, wait, oh. Is it you that keeps turning off that light? Every time I turn on this light in this tack area, someone always turns it off. It's Gabby. Anyway, welcome to today. I cleaned my saddle last night. And it's hard to clean it. Because it has so many things. Uh oh, what did I do here? the heck happened anyway welcome to today's video i'm down in the barn just getting it cleaned up the, the chiropractor equine chiropractor will be here in a minute wow look at these girls <laughs> they're like what's happening <laughs> look at honey she's like i see you there <laughs> they're so funny they're so funny they are i love that they're staying in the barn at dry ground oh she's coming in half an hour you better bring chino in and get him groomed who knows how muddy that boy is gonna be and she likes a groomed boy so yeah but his feet need to be done and she and he gets dusty underneath that blanket anyways definitely way a colder today come on come on mom come with me mom right i'm coming so uh, what i wanted to tell you guys before I start today's video is that I read this story the other day and I thought it was really fitting especially at Christmas time and I wanted to share it with you and I'll be really fast basically Penny's here basically a man hired a guy to come and paint his boat he wanted his boat painted red so the guy went to paint the boat and he painted it from top to bottom in red and while he was painting it he found a hole in the boat and so he stopped his painting long enough to repair the hole and then he finished painting the man that hired him paid him after he saw the good job that he did on the red boat and the, and the guy, the painter left. 
A few days later, the man that hired the painter came back. Yeah, it's toast. I was eating toast. Toast. It was just toast. <laughs> so, actually it was toast and eggs. So, when the man that hired the painter showed up at the painter's house a couple days later, he gave him another lump sum payment. He gave him a lot more money. And the painter said, why are you paying me more money? And he said, you don't understand. I hired you to paint my boat. I knew there was a hole in it, but I forgot But I forgot to mention it to you, and I didn't mention it to my family. I came home yesterday, and my kids had taken the boat out. They had seen it as a beautiful, nice, new red boat, and they wanted to take it out fishing. My kids took the boat out fishing, and when I saw the boat was gone, I was frantic, worrying about them, because I knew there was a hole in the boat. When suddenly they arrived back, safe and sound, uh, and, I, and I saw that you had repaired the hole while you were painting my boat. It made my heart so happy. And essentially, the painter saved the man's children and saved him a lot of grief and sadness because he took a few minutes to repair the man's hole. And the moral of the story is, especially during the Christmas time, oh, hopefully I don't cry. Yeah, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I hope you all cry too. But the moral of the story is that as humans and as people, we should always take time to repair other people's holes. And it can be daunting because we go through so much on our own and people are always breaking holes into us. And so sometimes it feels like we're only just trying to repair our own holes. But when you meet someone that has a problem or has an issue or needs your help, take a minute, repair their hole. Because it's in repairing their holes that your holes get healed too. So profound, such a good story. I love this story, but at Christmas time, it's so important, especially in the equine community that seems to be so harsh and so brash and so judgmental. And actually, there's a lot of communities that are like that. But I definitely think it's super important. Fix people's holes, you guys. Just fix them the best you can. Nobody's asking for perfection, but God will always send you to people that need their holes fixed, and you will know. So you guys know how you're going along in life and you think like you have a good idea of, of basic stuff to do. Like you know what you're doing. And then all of a sudden you're like, how did I not know that? I was just telling Gabby that we have to be really careful brushing Chino because he is super dusty and it's hard for the farrier to work, or it's hard for the chiropractor to work. Can you guys see the dust? Wow, Gabby. You did phenomenal. So anyways, we always curry comb our horses and then we hard brush them. That's what we've learned. I always wondered to myself, like what the heck is the soft brush for? I always thought the soft brush was for their face. That's what I thought. So just now, Gabby walks in and she takes the soft brush and she does a streak over him and all the dust is gone. So the soft brush is for the dust. How did I not know that? How did I not know that? Did you always know that, Gabby? Yes. Gabby always knew it. I just, it wasn't me. I just didn't know. My horse is the dustiest horse because I don't know how to get it off without water, but now it's the soft brush. Look at how shiny he is though in winter. Normally our horses get really shaggy and they don't have any shine to them. Look at how shiny he is. Do you guys see it? So shiny. Oh, he loves to be touched. <laughs> I just had a thought. What if I took these jump standards and put them side by side right here, left a doorway here, but blocked off our tack area and made it so that it was like its own area because Sam has so much junk in here because we don't have a garage at this house and it's just so messy when you walk in. So what if we did that? What if we like, what if I blocked it off, laid, left a walkway to the feed room? This is our feed room over here. It's all of our supplements. It's kind of housing my first aid kit as I'm compiling it. I want to make a super duper first aid kit like I told you guys. I'm still working on it. Um, but this is our tack room or this is our feed room. So what if I made it so that we cut out the whole area that Sam has that's so messy. I think I would love that. We literally just poured the cat food into his bowl. He goes up there. We should go up there and put his warm bed up there. Come on down. Come on. Sam puts this ladder here for him so it's easy because he likes it up there. I know how he gets in there. He climbs up that wall. Yeah, I know he does. Come on, we got your food. This is what it looks like. Barn life at its best. Sophie, what do you use the soft brush for? Um, I use it after the hard brush. <sighs> what does it do? 
Brushy, your heart. So apparently, I'm the only one that didn't know. We are done with the farrier. Chino had his Mom. turn. Heads up. Look, he's still covered in. Heads, heads up. <laughs> that means you're supposed to duck, Chino. Did you mean chiropractor? Yeah, chiropractor. It was our chiropractor, our equine chiropractor. chiropractor. She said farrier. I said farrier. I even actually talked to her about honey. Let's go. You got to put his blanket on. Oh. Where did you put it? I hung it. <laughs> you hung it? I don't know. I put it somewhere so it's not a mess in here. So like I, so like I said before, chiropractors, you find chiropractors in, on, in Canada or in Ontario have to be a vet and ours is a vet. So I talked to her about honey and explained everything that we've been doing and she said yeah that, that was the problem that her heels were too high. Everyone who meets honey loves her. Yeah so we introduced her to honey and what happened? She loves her. She even took pictures with her, and and she would like Honey was just loving her, staring into her eyes. Like, you guys got to meet Honey. Like, she's just the sweetest thing of life. We are in the dollar store, and it is packed. You guys, they have everything you could ever want, except for what Sophie wants. The dollar store in Canada, though, literally has everything. It is one of the best stores. Supposed to make it look like there's a hole. Supposed to make it look like there's a hole. I want it. Does it, it look like a hole? It literally does look like a hole. Gabby. Oh I my, see oh a my hole. god, it's a slide. It's a slide. So what's it for? To make dogs not go somewhere? Oh. It's a rug. But it's an optical illusion. It looks better. It's on a the rug, but an optical illusion. See, look. It's like an actual hole. It's I like don't know. On it. it doesn't to me. Do you like it? I don't like it either because only the only. So these are those um, weighted stuffies, but the weight is all just in the bum, just right here. None of the rest of it. Yeah, it's all soft and squishy. Like that. Yeah, it doesn't give you over, I don't know. It's cute though. All right, so this is supposed to be the, uh, a reborn doll. And it's cute, but it doesn't actually look like very reborn-y. It's like fake. $120. It'll probably be the closest to an axolotl you ever get. I have no idea what these are, but they're so super cute. That's a stackable? Yeah. What the heck? Stack them on top. Oh, they're cute. What's the point of that, though? They're quick now. You can stack them on top. Oh, they're so soft. Gingerbread Kit Kat, you guys. This is definitely our favorite store. Oh, look at that little puppy. Don't you know that you're beautiful?